Back-to-back -back losses had plunged Lorient back into a relegation scrap that they thought they had left behind them with a five-game unbeaten streak before then. Christophe Pelissier's Lorient took on Saint-Étienne, Lever five places and seven points ahead of their opponents, but also very much in a battle to stay in the French top flight. Two players in a good form ahead of this match. Denis Buanga, top scorer for Saint-Étienne this season, and Teremas Mofi for Lorient, the Nigerian highest goal scorer for Lorient. It was Saint-Étienne who took the lead after 14 minutes. Mukudi guiding in the corner to give Lever a precious advantage. Claude Puel's side inconsistent, but faring much better than they had during the end of 2020. Jesse Moulin called into action, but it was Trauco who provided another opportunity for Neyu to shoot from range. The referee pointing towards the corner flag. Dreyer called into action there and just ensuring the ball went over the crossbar. A goal down after the break. Lorient kept on coming forward, searching for the equaliser. Lefe almost scored one of the goals of the season with his shot from range. This as Lorient did, came onto the pitch and had an immediate impact as he scored a wonderful free kick. His first goal in Ligue 1 Uber Eats and what a goal to put Christophe Pellissier's men back into the game. No chance for Jesse Moulin. He's beaten hands down. Claude Puel not happy at all with what his team were offering. Nordin then with an opportunity to restore the visitors' lead. But his shot sailing over the crossbar. Lorienté, the man of the match, as he would tuck in Lorient's second goal. It's a massive moment in the race for survival. Lorient unmarked at the back post. Debushi lets him go. And Moulin, from that range, is abandoned by his defenders. The win moves Lorient out of the bottom three. They narrow the gap with Saint-Étienne, who are 16th and just two points above their opponents.